Hey everyone, it's Apache here and welcome back to Guild of Dungeoneering. Last episode we managed to kill our first Dungeoneer called Apache here. <laughs> so, um, wasn't too good of a start, but we completed the first mission with... Um, who was it? Dungeoneer? What's her name? Uh, Daikini. Yes, Daikini. We'll call her Daikini. Um, and then we managed to get uh, Stanley here, the cat burglar. Because Daikini gained a battle scar of Gullible from completing that uh, dungeon, which means one loot choice is of a lower level than normal. Shouldn't matter too much within this very early stage because we'll only be getting level 1 stuff anyway. However, going through the game, I think she will end up being killed off relatively quickly. So I'm not going to pay too much attention to her at the moment, I'm going to stick with Stanley here. Um, I'm recording this very shortly after the first episode, so I haven't had a chance to catch up on your feedback yet, but um, please let me know down in the comment section if you want me to name people after anybody, if you have any ideas for a kind of a, a name theme, I don't know what it could be, any kind of naming theme that you want, uh, let me know. So we're just going to go straight into another mission here, we do only have 15 gold, and I think at the moment we only have one place to go. So if we come back into here, this is the Rat Pack Quest 2, and the idea is to defeat the Rat King. So we're going to use the Cat Burglar here. Um, a lot of his stuff is quite quick um, and uh, unblockable, stuff like that. So I'm going to hope that this is a bit more of a kind of a, a managed character than the Chump. The Chump is a very generic character. And so let's see what we can do. The idea of this dungeon is to kill this Rat King here. So Rat King it has 7 health, Feral 3, Irritable 3 and Armed 3. As you play through the game you kind of get to know what traits these actually give or what cards these traits give. Um, however at the moment because we're very new we don't really know. So have a look at the cards we have. Now I think I want to give, um, now I'm going to keep the gold for now and we're going to have to go up this way. This is Fountain of Stupidity so I want to actually have quite an easy fight um, straight after this. So I'm going to get some gold in this room uh, and I'm going to uh -huh. put Mm -hmm. Oh, you can only put one gold or silver down per turn. Um, so I'm going to put a giant cat in this one. So hopefully we will be able to kill this guy off and get rid of this um, fountain ability. So, this is the first fight as a cat burglar. So he's used Spook, which is a magical attack, but blocks one... Um, physical damage. So I'm going to use Catnip and be able to attack harder next turn. Um, and I'm going to deal 3 damage to him now. This is an unblockable attack. So I'm going to attack him first. And now hopefully Yes, I will be able to kill him off. Again, these fights are going to be fairly close at the very beginning, well, until we actually get some stuff. And so now, last episode, I couldn't actually mouse over these, but I seem to be able to now. So, we have um, the wooden stool, gives us these cards. Um, it does give us one of those stupidity cards, though, the uh cards. The wooden board gives us a repel, the twig gives us a bash, and the slice, oh, sorry, the fork gives us slice. So I think I'm going to go for slice, that's probably the best for now. I'll be able to do a fairly offensive run on this, I think. Um, I want to try and mitigate as much damage, but deal as much damage each turn as well, is my idea for this. So I will be able to go up with this corridor, 
Um, do I want that there? No. So this corridor, I want to be able to go up there. And I think I still want to try and deal some... Oh, get some more loot in the early stages of this. Try and get some of these fairly easy fights done. Um, so I'm going to throw a cat at it. Cat burglar, throw a cat. Yes, very, very funny. Uh, this is an unblockable attack. Uh, so I think I'm going to actually use catnip. And I'm going to deal two damage to it first. Might as well. And keep my unblockable attack. Now it's only got one health left. I've got two. It's only dealing one, so we'll be able to kill it with that. So I level up, gain plus one HP. And so, what did we get last time? We got the fork. So this would get rid of the fork. It gives us a heal, but so does this, and so does this, and this gives us another health. I think I want to be able to heal, so this is Mind Strike, and this is Fire Blast. I think I like the offensive one. So I've quite an, an offensive magical attack there. And I still can't get up there. Hmm. So where to go next? I think I will put this one. I can't even put it there. You can't put them up too far away from you. So I think I will put this one on here. It's going to go towards it, and hopefully, yes, Fountain of Knowledge. Um, I will put a Ratman in that room. And why don't we put a Ratman in this room as well? Why not? We'll go through a few different fights on this run. Try and find out what some of the loot is. Um, so, it's going to lose a health here. I want to throw a cat at it. Now it's dealing quite a bit of damage. So I want to mitigate that damage as much as I can. This is an unblockable, but it's only got two health left. I can kill it off with this one. You see, now I've leveled up a bit. These are becoming a bit more easy for the fights. So Stiletto um, is a fast attack. This gives me plus two health, but two stupidity cards. Well, I'm not too keen on my stupidity cards, but it's quite difficult to shuffle back into the deck. However, this Shimmering Cloak I really do like. It's a fast attack that deals two damage, and I also get a Mind Strike that I can draw a card and deal damage with. I think that'll be really handy. So I can finally get somewhere now. Um, I wanna. I can't place this one in. That's a shame. So I'm gonna take a bit of a gamble. I can't even do that. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna take a gamble and put this one there. And yes, it is going towards here. Sometimes when you put rooms in, they'll actually change direction. Um, so you won't be able to. Um, go in the direction you really wanted unless you have coins and so now now that it's connected I can put this one in and we have a path straight up to the Rat King hmm monsters gain conceal next fight I think uh, that's okay I think that if you if you can discard a card then you choose at random rather than being able to choose so I'm pretty happy with that, I think. So yeah, let's go end turn, and we'll go for this fight and then head back up there. So this is unblockable, so I will hit it as much as I can. Uh, 
Um, with this one, I need to do as much damage to it as I can. And I want to keep the Flame Lash for the next attack. This has actually got a block, though. So yeah, I will do this one now. Because I wouldn't have done any damage with the other one. And so now... Uh, again, I will do a quick attack. And it's going to die anyway. Um, but I might as well make sure. So now we can choose our um, thing here. I don't think we have an offhand. No, we don't. So I may take this offhand because this anything else would mean getting rid. Actually, no, we don't have a weapon either. So it's the glyph gives us smite. I think I prefer the glyph to the stiletto. But we do have a weapon. Yeah, that was the right choice. And so now it's going to go all the way back up here. Uh, so we can see its path that it's following. Um, I think I will put in the centre room there. Just to see what, whether we can move around it. But This is the only entrance into this room. So we're going to have to take this fountain whatever we do. Um, I'm going to cycle a few cards off here. Um just to see if I can get any more of the, the gold which we can't yet so we'll have to dump a few more cards and I'll put one in there as well yeah I thought it may do this aha excellent so we have a massive gem so if I put that one in that room then it will automatically go towards it. I may have been able to put it into here, but I don't know. I think we have enough loot now to be able to go into the boss fight, but just in case I'm going to put another monster in here and hope that we can push him up towards here. So I don't really want to fight all of these before going onto the boss. So now these fights should get easier as we go through. We should just be able to deal as much damage as we can. Um, this is unblockable, so we'll be able to do that one. And I'll be able to do this one as well. So the fights which were difficult at the beginning actually become quite easy. I would lose that. I would lose the slice to gain rekindle. I think I will do this actually because I gain a block and I gain a heal. But from now on we might actually start uh, um, selling off the loot instead. So I can put this one in here to make sure that he goes up there. And again I think I'm going to cycle off some cards down here because I would like to try and get another loot for this boss fight. Um, I'll try and increase my next attack. I will strike him for two. I'll strike him for two. And this one should be absolutely fine because that's two. So yeah, there's nothing here that I want, so I'm just going to take some gold. This will give me the gold card that I needed. And so I can put that one in this room and we can just click on end turn and head into the boss fight. And so the Rat King has Conceal, the, this card is face down, so I can't mitigate damage as much as I could before. Um, plus one health for each surrounding minion. 
So we must have minion cards, and I have Covetous and Fountains. Yeah, Monsters Game can deal. So let's just deal some damage. I'm going to try and go all out as much as I can on this fight. Um, I want to deal some... Ooh. Now I know this will kill him, so long as he doesn't do too damage to me. Because I don't have any block. That's good. Oh goodness. Well, victory, it being such a fine fleeting thing, is often not to be found. Who knows what horrors the future may bring? So cherish it while it's around. Okay, so we actually gained some quite quite good loot from this. We're going 115 gold in total. Monsters killed is 30 gold. That's very good. So, the bonuses we got. So I just need to cough. Sorry about that. Uh, bonuses we got. We've got a trophy room, so we, which we can put in our guild. And we opened up these adventures. Um, Fire Lord, a Victimless Crime, and Goblins. And we gained a new battle scar called Scarred. Starts with Crush 1. That's actually quite good. So we return to the guild. And we can put these uh, new rooms in play. And we'll see what we want to spend the money on as well. So we put the trophy room in. I think I want to put the trophy room down at the front here. Caught up in all this doom and gloom of all the places you've wrecked. It's nice to have a big trophy room. A place to quietly reflect. And I found that's quite true as well. In in most of the games I play, in uh, I'd say Minecraft and Dungeon Dragons and any kind of video game or roleplay game I play, I always try to create some kind of trophy room which is quite a serene room, quite grandiose um, as a kind of show-off, egotistical type thing. Uh, for my characters to, to show off all their wares and all their trophies and stuff. But uh, it, I think it's a, a really nice thing to do. It allows you to go back into there whenever you want and look back at all the adventures you've had. So I, I quite like it. So we have this Rat King's Tale. Um, rats, how original. Dungeon runs free. So I've done three runs through that because I lost once. <laughs> um, and... Do any of these do anything? This does. What does this do? Ah, this is the uh, thing that we read out at the beginning of the last episode. Ah, this is the journal actually. Is there any more in here? Ah, there is. So we can close that. So we've added in the trophy room. Um, and now we want to expand the guild. We have 130 gold to spend. And these cost 50 gold each. We actually get two of these. So this is Might. This is your kind of your melee characters. And this is Magic. So this is your Magic characters. So we have a Mime and an Apprentice. And then these give you more loot. So I think we want to try and get loot quickly. So a Curio Shop. And I think clicking on these tells you what we can get. So Troll Femur, Daisy Chain, the Winged Staff, and the Masquerade Mask. Woodworker gives you a, a shield, um, a crossbow, an arcane wand, and a hand axe. Um, a leather worker gives you a wolf pelts, uh, magic robes, a skull cap and a leather bound tome and the blacksmith gives us a mace scale mail that's really quite nice scimitar and soldier's helmet so i think i definitely want to go for this blacksmith i'm going to put all the shops down at the front as well i'm going to put those along this way um and we can gain something else as well and i quite like the idea of this woodworker, I think. 
or this curio shop. Yeah, I think this curio shop. So, we have now 30 gold left, so we can't actually buy anything else in the shop. And I think that's where I'm going to leave it for this, uh, this episode. I've just had a look at the time and we're running about 20 minutes now. That's about the, the length of time I want to keep each episode to. So thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe on the video and to the channel. Um, today we've been through the Rat King Lair. We have gained a trophy room and a blacksmith. Uh, oh yes, and I need to put this curio shop in there. Um, and we've managed to level Stanley up a bit. So, thank you very much and I will see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting me by subscribing to the channel and liking and commenting on the videos. Thanks. See you next time.